Welcome down the warp pipe. Today we're talking about Mario Golf Super Rush, and specifically whether it holds up to those nostalgic memories of playing it in the backseat of my parents' car, either going to grandma's house or to the golf range itself. Because the last time I managed to play Mario Golf was actually on my Game Boy Color. So let's see if the nostalgic memories hold up today as I try to review Mario Golf Super Rushed. Rushed. Before we get started, I'm Ty, and if you like what you see, check out some of the other videos around, and make sure to hit subscribe if you like what you see. Alright, so Mario Golf Super Rush is actually a new game in the Mario Golf series from the same developers that developed it on the Game Boy Advance because the ultimate thing here is that they keep the spirit of Mario Golf intact. However, the story mode is kind of a letdown because getting into it the very first time you actually have to go and spend a whole lot of time walking around and talking before you actually get to play any golf, which is really strange because ultimately the game should be a really, really fun thing to jump into. However, if you play online with your friends, it's great to sit down and have a beer because that's mostly what I played here. But the biggest thing is that if you go, it's actually a really relaxed, fun game of golf. However, it's not quite as involved as something like Everybody's Golf. The big thing here is that it was actually developed by both the same team, as far as I understand, but under different names. However, the really, really big thing here is that Mario Golf Super Rush has a fantastic mode called Super Rush, but it is ultimately let down by the single player mode having great gameplay, but awful presentation. You might want to see here that the game actually has a really, really weird soundtrack. It's almost like a five-year-old was recording some of the sounds. Yay! The other thing that grates on me, and specifically this might be a personal gripe, is that the sounds of most of the characters, except for Toad for some reason, actually sound like nails on a chalkboard because, oh my god, it has that Banjo-Kazooie thing, but I never personally liked that anyways. So the real thing here for me is that I can turn the sounds off and I can get into the game. But who wants to turn the sounds off in a golf game? Everyone, put your own music on. But here is where the game saves itself. The multiplayer is absolutely fantastic and you should definitely give it a look because playing with friends online is super quick, super fun, and as long as you don't get someone rage quitting, doesn't have too many problems. But the real problem here is that the game doesn't have a lot of customization features. So you only have three sets of clubs and for each character, it takes a little while to unlock the third set of clubs. But this isn't a problem because it actually allows you to play each character for a little while. They all have different dashes, different attacks, and different super shots. But you also have tons of options. You can turn off everything and anything you can think of in the game except for the ability to combine both the Super Rush score point and the normal golf mode. Because that would be something that would be ideal in a future update for this game. And with them announcing before launch that there was going to be future updates for the game, it felt like this game might actually be something that is really, really broken at launch and might be feature less. However, the big thing here is that the game actually feels like a full price game. And more importantly, it feels like a polished full price game, as long as you ignore the fact that the story mode is kind of weird and broken. Also, what's up with Birdo? Why does she have a ring? Who married that? Anyways, the more important thing here is that the game is a lot of fun, and although it lacks some of the nuance that Everybody's Golf has, it has a really, really easy jump in and play. I haven't had a chance to play with motion controls yet, but I have a feeling that playing motion controls online with some friends and having a beer is going to be a fantastic time, just like real golf. The more important thing here is that the game has a really fun mode that you can play, called Super Rush, and it breathes life into the series. Because ultimately, it was going to be either a normal golf game with Mario characters and some fun power-ups, but Super Rush makes it feel like a completely different game, and it's an experience you can't get anywhere else. So, personally, I would highly recommend picking this game up, whether it's on sale or whether it's full price, because this one is a great golf game, although it's a little shallow. <sighs> Okay, that was the review, thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, check out Mario Golf. I'm gonna catch my breath, and I'll see you next Games Tuesday. Because, however, it's, however, 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 I actually sound like chalk, I actually sound like... <laughs>